What is up, everybody? What's up? Sinvec, uh, Anthixius, How Good Are Keyboards, All Hex. Welcome, guys. We got Andy on here, my co-host. Dude, all the all the legends are here already, bro. Yeah. Also, yeah. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna say it before you say it, Andy. I, I got this eye thing. I don't know if you guys could tell, but I feel like my eye just like got a little swollen today. Don't know why. Maybe it's a bug bite. Maybe it's uh, I don't know some kind of thing. But my eye has just been kind of weird all day. There. Dude, now you no can't... one would have noticed if you didn't say anything. Now, but now you can't snitch, Andy. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't gonna really snitch. I was just joking, fool. No, you're gonna snitch. I can feel it. I can feel it in my yeah, bones. Yeah, I was like gonna snitch. <laughs> All right. Uh, no packages today, dude. I just turned on the stream, stream, uh, the stream to look at your face, and it, you look the same, bro. No, nah, dude. This eye is like closed a little tiny bit more, and also it's like I can feel it's puffy, and I can see it in my stream. Which eye? My right eye. This eye right here. Dude, okay, if I were to guess, I would have said the left eye. <laughs> that just goes to show you that you look exactly the same, bro. Yeah, but no, dude, you knew it was one eye, though. One bro. One eye different from the other. You're tripping. <laughs> one eye looked different from the other. No, it didn't. Dang, you look so cool with just one AirPod in your ear. <laughs> You're like a kid who used to wear his backpack with one strap. No, I want to be able to hear, like, stuff. And I don't like putting both AirPods in. Like, I, I want to hear, like, with the transparency one, I just rather hear what's going on around me. Which is nothing, but sometimes it's something. <laughs> That's very poetic of you. Yeah. See? You know. Okay. Um. So the little package today, so we could, like, jump right into the build. Just take a look. Oh, you slacking on the packages. That's what like 99% of reviewers are here for, bro. <laughs> Come on, man. You're not uh you're not wrong. All right, one second, I'm just sorting through a few things here. <clears throat> okay. Uh All right. Okay, so I've been using this keyboard for the last day. I got to tell you guys I hate how light the springs are. Also, it has these feet which are cool, you just kind of push them in, but then when you slide it around, they like kind of like peel off just cause they're like, they're not super tight in the, uh, you know, it's not super tight in it. Also, I've been using it wired cause uh, I have to use a USB switch anyways to like get my mouse and also my, my keyboard onto another computer. So I've just been going wired. <laughs> All right. What am I doing here? Okay. So here is our board. So I worked on this before. This is the Matrix Falcon, the Topre. Ah. Wait, some package. Sorry, I'm going to head out. <laughs> All right, Sinvec, Sinvec has uh, redeemed a vinyl. All right, let's put on back. Yeah, I'm cashed out. Aren't those expensive? Yeah, the choice, the choice one too, eight thousand. Jeez. Oh, I've never opened it before either. <clears throat> what a so, legend. Oh, is it open? I don't think it's open. Here's a question: Why are vinyl sleeves always like? Why do they open from the right side? Why don't they open from the top? Um. Oh. That's a good ass question. Interesting. Beck's uh, album Colors is on colored vinyl. <laughs> it's a nice red here. All right. I'm really good at picking the unopened records, yeah. <laughs> Seriously. <clears throat> okay. Uh, let's get this. Oh, 
stream music down. All right, my first time listening to vinyl on this AirPod. Here's to hoping it sounds all right. There we go. All right. <clears throat> so here's our uh, Falcon. Uh, this has uh, the Topre assembly here, which turns out we didn't like that much. But part of me wonders if maybe it's the domes. So maybe it, it, it could use a nice uh, BKE heavy swap some at some point. There's also the weird part about uh, these two keys like sticking. So I wonder if um, there's some adjustment we need to make in terms of stuff we got to shave down uh, or um, maybe a heavier dome could help it. We'll see. Okay, sorry about the uh, the delays here. So yeah, this is this is it. Um, but that's not our build for today. Also, we got the funny thing here too, which is the uh, slightly off-colored top row pipe key, which comes from CRPR4 Peacock, which has this <laughs> insert, literally an insert side legend, which doesn't really match what this is, but still better than say for example the CRPR3. Uh, HHKB kits of both colors. So kind of a funny a funny thing all around here. <laughs> is that your original Falcon? Yes, yes. Um, I have, this is my, this one right here, this Topre one is my second build. Looks fucking nice with beige. Yeah, I was really surprised at how it would look. Not some copium red set. Yeah, just cause I kept trying to match it with the badge. 100% agree. <laughs> But you know, I wanted to wait for um, Red Alert. I wanted to, to get Red Alert at some point, but I mean, we're not doing an MX build tonight. So we did, uh, we did, what did we do? The Redux. So I think our, our very first build was at MX and we did Alpacas in there. Um, then we swapped that out for some Zilio Redux switches. And that was still the first assembly. The second one, we did this Topre one. And I think that these are desk keys domes. And I really don't, I don't know if it's the build I don't like. I don't know if it's the um, the domes I don't like. Is it what you use like that kit for? Yeah, yeah. So I think they're they're like BKE. I don't even remember. I mean, I wonder if I could pop it off and tell. Probably not. No, because I just see the slider. <laughs> I don't remember what's in it, but I could probably look it up. Falcon, where is the Falcon? Oh shit. All right, our Falcon is right here. We have 56 gram. I, I didn't even put the, uh, didn't put the, well, whatever it is, I don't know. Deskies, 56 gram dome. Blue? I guess they're blue domes. And they're the tactile one that are kind of, I think they have the hole through them. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. So, uh, that's that. Um, well, we can run a little type test if you guys care to listen. So I'll run this type test and then we'll move on to the build. Not my favorite Topra implementation, but I'm not sure which part of it is kind of funky. It could be the stabilizers. 
could be the domes, could be the sliders, could be just, I don't know, the construction of this. Not my favorite, but I like that it exists. Okay. Let's choose something beige. It's always going to be 9009, I feel like. Let's do this. Uh, 60 second test. All right, tons of uh, tons of mistakes there. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure if it's maybe because the uh, the space bar is a little too light. Maybe I could uh, bring in that uh, that that spring, but at some point I'm gonna change this to BK heavies anyway. In which case, I don't like running a spring on that space bar. So we'll do that at some point eventually, but it won't be today because we're doing an Alps build. Okie doke music back on and also the air <clears throat> all right so let's uh i don't think we need to crack it open right now uh we could always just do that entirely later it's like uh, it's not it's not hugely uh important at the moment We'll run here uh, DCS9009 with the, uh, the Cherry Legends, with the Alp Stems. I am kind of excited about this, being able to see what it like, fully looks like. All right, and then when it comes to the assembly, I gotta be careful to not show this because there is a shipping label on it. There's that. And then I do have one more PCB plate pair which is an MX, which I really shouldn't have bought, but I didn't know that they were gonna do Alps and, and Topre. <laughs> but I guess I have four builds for it now, kind of like how I have four plates for the, uh, the Sirius, which takes whatever standard PCB. I also don't think you ever need these. Like, it's just like, if you have one, you, you have the rest. But uh, I don't know, there is something here that looks a little different. From anything that I actually recalled in the past. Let's see. It's like some type of switch. It's like a four and a P switch. I don't know what these things are. Well, I guess we'll find out. Ah, maybe we should crack it open. I, I don't actually know what those things are. Matrix, Falcon, Alps. Maybe I'll look it up. Instructions. Matrix Lab Alps. I have no clue. If anyone wants to know what the heck, there's a weird little like on off switch that came with uh, the PCB and plate. If anyone wants to look that up and let me know where that might have come from. I don't know that I want to spend a bunch of time just like clicking around in silence <laughs> trying to figure it out. All right, there's a void sticker. 
Okay, so I guess we could snap these things off, which is always I'm terrified of doing, but might as well do it now. Because if I break it now, well, at least there's uh, we could there's an alternative rather than breaking it later when everything's done. <laughs> Okay, okay. Easy. Easy. The heck is this crazy thing? All right, I I am pretty confused. I'm going to open up the Falcon because this is a little weird. Oh, one thing I forgot about was the Matrix Falcon Topra had that weird thing with the uh, stabilizer wire that for some reason no one no one has talked about or at some point like for a really long time no one talked about this huge problem. I totally forgot about that. So I'm supposed to have that extra screw somewhere, and I don't actually know where it is. Strange. It might be maybe in the other... I might have a box with another assembly. It might be in there. React. Can't find any obvious info regarding an on-off switch. Oh. <laughs> All right. Okay, for some reason I also have an FR4 plate. I think this was a Topre FR4 plate. So yeah, this one's Topre, I believe. Is my screw in here? Who is that? Oh, McJizzle, what's going on? Welcome and thank you for the three months. Count them three months of support. Okay, so there's that extra screw. What is good? As this trip has been three months, yeah, crazy. Wow. Alrighty. Let's crack this open, see what we have inside here. tuning in we are opening this guy up scouting a, a weird potential thing I don't know if it's a problem but it's just like there's some weird stuff on this uh, Falcon PCB that kind of confuses me like they came with some kind of on off switch and then meanwhile there's this like weird thing I don't know what this is MSS 
OSFB. I could be wrong in reading this. Those might be fives and zeros and eights. 1N32AI. Coronado, welcome. Uh, Y'all gonna get the Corsa? I am not a 65 person, but it does seem really cool for anyone who is into 65s. But I, I'm, I'm gonna pass on it personally. Speaking of boards, uh, okay, not me, I have too many projects to work on right now. Let me see this. Uh, my local Discord has been popping off with hype over Matrix shit lately with the new Corsa being released. I see. Yeah, no, Corsa seems sick, but it's not an HHKB. <laughs> Okay, so I have no clue what the heck this thing is. I think it would be like this. Oh, I remember this song. This song was like my favorite song off the album. This might have been like a single. <laughs> Good song. Okay, so I have no clue what this thing is, why there's a some kind of a an on off switch. Okay, this thing here says MS50SFB V1.1. And can I just look this up? MS50SFB V1.1. I don't know. I got no clue what that is. All right, opening this up did nothing for me. <laughs> Shit for brains? Oh, is that what SFB is? <laughs> That's what I'm feeling like right now, not knowing what the heck this thing is. Um, if anyone wants a closer look, maybe maybe anyone can look at this and let me know if they have any uh, prior info. I was about to talk about keyboards that are not this, but. Okay, so this is like pretty normal. That's pretty normal, but these guys intrigue me. This looks like it has a bent pin. Not that I know what it is. Okay, let's check this out. That seems new. This guy right here where my index finger is. I flip it over. There's a little code just talking about what it is. I'm guessing it's some kind of, I don't know, chip. But uh, it's just like, why don't the others have this? And then meanwhile, there's these like, I don't know, extra things like headers. I don't know what you call these, but there's this is literally like a switch. You can switch it from left to right. And I don't think this came with any instructions. <laughs> so, um... If anyone is able to potentially uncover what the heck all of this is for, let me know, because I'm about to just do this build. And, uh, you know, of course, there's a chance that I'm doing all this, this whole build and I don't know what it is I'm exactly doing. And then am I just like, I'm going to be doing a build that's pointless if, if these things become necessary at a point where I'm not ready for it to be necessary. Okay, so that's the PCB. I guess what's cool is this is MX slash Alps compatible. So they did something cool like in that respect. Um, one other thing that is cool is that they do still allow for um, uh, PCB mounted like MX style stabilizers. So that's that's also sick. So we're gonna we're gonna put this together. Uh, what width is this PCB? Matrix Falcon PCB 1.6, I'm guessing. Okay, 
I think we're better off typing 1.2 just to see what comes up. Who is Erica? Okay, Erica asked 8XV has a 1.2 millimeter PCB. I mean, I guess I could use calipers. It's like kind of why I have them, right? This is 1.2. Wow. Okay. I feel like I need a 1.6 millimeter PCB to like tell because. <laughs> Like, I really wonder how many of my PCBs are 1.2, and I've just been using 1.6s. I just didn't know. This seems thinner, but it's like, you know, 1.2 and 1.6 is like really minuscule to the human eye, but it does seem thinner. So I guess we're doing 1.2. I think I need to start buying more 1.2. Like, I mean, you, you know what's even weird is uh, this guy right here, the um, the QK60, I think that's a 1.2 as well. And, like, I think they just, the included stabilizers are for 1.6, I believe. It's weird. <clears throat> and as far as I understood, the stabilizers that came with it, um, they didn't even, uh, like they didn't, there were no shims or anything. I'm trying to research. It's hard to figure out what I need to, to search. Yeah, no, I same right away. I mean, and I'm not even like doing it right now, but I was just like, I don't even know what I'd search. Uh, Koi non keeps. Thank you for the follow. All right, so I guess we're gonna do some some TX 1.2. Didn't think I would use this so soon. And I might need to start buying more 1.2s. Can I link? I don't know if I found this already, but I found their guide. Okay, yeah, feel free, yeah. Um, the funny thing is like the guide might not, may potentially not be useful. <laughs> We'll see though, um, because it, unless it's an Alp specific one, yeah, it's a start though. Yeah, oh, I gotta flip this disc. Battery switch and socket. Wait, so was the Alps PCB also wireless? Because, like, it, it didn't come with the. Seems like those extra doohickeys. I mean, I figured if it was a switch, it probably was for a battery, but.
Where would you even place the battery? So I've just Google translated this. <clears throat> I see. So it's probably just really similar to like, except it's just we have to solder and assemble it. But I'm also going to guess it's, it's not necessary. Yeah, so the switch goes there. on the left side. Yeah. Let's take a look at this. Ah, yeah, no, that makes sense. That goes right there. I I'm literally just left to wonder, it's like, where, where does the battery go? Like, I'm guessing I have to buy one. It's like the battery's like not included. I mean, it's fine. I, I don't think I'm going to build this with the uh, the battery. I, I could, but I, I just I just don't think I'm going to. It's just, I'm left so curious here. LED, LED, USB. Damn, curious. We'll, we'll just ignore it. <laughs> I'm wasting all this time just thinking about it instead of doing doing anything. Okay. Uh, and then I need to go grab this work mat right here. I think I'm just gonna use the same one as yesterday. I didn't solder yesterday. Your GMK Alpine really convinced me to buy it. Finally mounted it for the first time on my F1. It looks amazing. It's not a perfect color match, but it's really close. Nice. It's expensive. I think anything that runs on Kono is expensive, and any vendor overseas is also going to be just kind of the same price. But Alpine was really cool. The first time I saw it, I was like, this kind of looks gray, but it also kind of looks a little lavender-ish. Really wonder what that nib is at the bottom. This guy right here. I, I'm going to guess that that's like a different ship that's necessary for Bluetooth, but I don't know. I actually bought it on sale, so it's normal price, I see. I've been meaning to do the same thing for Amethyst, but I still haven't gotten to it. Amethyst, I think Amethyst and Toko are the ones that kind of interest me in terms of things that are like in stock or in stock-ish. All right. So you got to be super careful with this because as you, or as we saw, Previous time we ran uh, this, I think this is round three of TX stabilizers, we actually bent one of the wires. So gotta be extra, extra careful. Has to be some kind of controller chip for sure. Bluetooth m would make sense, yeah. Or just like wireless, even if it's not Bluetooth wireless. All right, um, <clears throat> so we'll get through, do some of these stabilizers here. Okay, there's these two. So 
So I was mentioning, uh, talking about keyboards, upcoming keyboards. I know we, we talked about the Corsa here and how I'm probably not going to get it because I don't usually get boards like that. But a um, couple things. Vero, this Friday, uh, I think 1 p.m. for a 24-hour window. Um, I guess I will say I am recruiting uh, raffle helpers for anyone who might not be interested in it and would like to help me get one I am recruiting uh, another thing and I think I might go for the black I think that they they marketed that black really really well <laughs> like I don't usually go for black keyboards but this seems like one that I gotta uh, Vero AKB Vero um, I think Alex Sotos and Lulstacks have both done proto builds. Um, I believe Lulstacks might might have been using it even up to today's stream. I think he's streaming right now. He did this. Um, the only other, there's only two colors. One is like all black with a I guess a PVD black weight or something, and the one that Lulstacks did was. Uh, uh, purple, like a really dark purple with uh, a copper weight. I think the copper weight is really cool and I think it looks really, really good with that purple, but um, I don't think I really need a purple board <laughs> uh, given that I just got this cool frog mini, I got the, the midway um, LE. I think I want to go for a really nice black one. They've been marking that black one really nice. And then, uh, I think there was just an announcement made today. The Live Oak, first in-stock Live Oak raffle is going to happen also on Friday. The right side blocker is big, but the, the keyboard is sleek. When is a raffle? I can go in for you. For sure. Uh, I, think, I believe it's this Friday. Um, this Friday, uh, 1 p.m., I think, Pacific, and it's a 24-hour window. So I, I appreciate that very much do um so the other one to mention is this live oak this is from atx kb um which are the the guy that does the moon tower um so this one i've been really really hyped up for a while and this one is actually also going up their first in stock raffle um this this friday the same day but i think it's at 4 p.m pacific and it's only a three hour window Honestly, personally, I think I'm going to pass. Uh, and I'm, I'm kind of, I, how do I put this? There's a couple of reasons. I am really, 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 really excited for the Live Oak. Um, but at the same time, I okay. Uh, what order should I go in? Uh, yo, 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 Chris. Hey, Frank, what's going on? Welcome, Mr. Uh, Shiki. Or, or Iki. First name, Inomush. Um, <clears throat> so Vero, Vero's going up this Friday. Live Oak going up this Friday. I'm going to pass on the Live Oak, I think. Um, because, one, I'm, I, I, you know, wallet's burning right now, man. I got to tell you guys, the wallet's burning. <laughs> uh, I've been buying a lot of boards, and I got I to I gotta chill. But I was glad... I'm glad to not buy this Live Oak because, as it turns out, this uh, this Friday, the Live Oak that's going up for raffle um, is apparently only in pink. And I think I literally just talked uh, maybe the last yesterday's stream or either, either yesterday or Monday about how I'm kind of pinked out even without having any actual pink boards on me. I have three pink boards on the way, like in group buy. So um, I don't think I really want another pink so I would really like the opportunity to wait until the live oak puts out a silver um and I'm totally totally okay with waiting um yeah just because uh well it needs a little uh a breather
Um, I would have tried to go in on it if um, if I had gotten a, a silver Avia, silver Alu Avia instead of the pink Alu Avia. Alu Avia. But I didn't. So, and I think I think that the Noxery pink is gonna be really nice. Um, the the live oak pink photo that went out is I don't know. It, it's hard to determine if that's really gonna be nice or not because um, I don't think that the photo has necessarily done the board color justice in terms of the photo that's out there. And so it just like kind of remains to be seen what that pink is really going to look like. All right. So we've 205 all of this. It's now BDZ time, but careful, careful BDZ time because we did bend one of these wires recently. I'm just trying not to buy any more boards uh, seriously no more um, man it's tough because uh, I know I know I know the feeling like I kind of just got to chill because I got a lot of boards like I have like without having basically a single client in my like two years of streaming keyboards I have content for years <laughs> Like I have had content and I will continue to have content for years out um, just based off of my own personal collection. I think it's that bad. <laughs> um, but at the same time, it's like, fuck, like people just keep making sick ass boards like. <laughs> I hope that's okay. I don't think I bent it. I think we're good there. Just got to be, I think you got to, I figured out how to snap it without using so much force on these TX. Um, yeah. But uh, you still got to be really, really gentle because I I don't trust these wires. I have my constellation for, oh, you got the constellation. Uh, the auger next to me with plans to get another couple, but the realization I got to work through what I have right now. I feel <laughs> your personal collection is pretty nutty. Not going to lie. Yeah, I know. Like it was kind of always my goal to just have like just HHKBs, like just all along the spectrum. But at this point, uh, I don't know. I'm not 100% sure. I feel like in terms of the extra common affordable end that um, buying into those is going to do me any favors necessarily. Like I think there's a lot of high, like really, really high end that, extremely high end that seem really interesting for one reason or another. Um, and so um, I'd like to keep slowly like, you know, oh shit, why did I do that? I just, I just touched down a BDZ wire onto the mat. That goofy. Um, slowly, I'd like to slowly continue my collection, but just not the pace that I have been. <laughs> 
This straight up, yeah, I got the Consti. It's kind of scuffed because of brass plate and weight are a bit more patina than expected, but I have some fun plans to work around it right on. I got the uh, the Noxery X60R, and the patina on that is like kind of crazy. Like, and I don't want to say necessarily it's crazy in a good way either, but at the same time, it's like I'm not gonna look at it. <laughs> But very cool. Happy you got it. I know a lot of people were really into the Constellation. Uh, when did it come out? About two years ago. Like, like I would imagine that board still holds up. Like, that board is probably still sexy. Not that I know much about it. It's a 65, right? But I do know that that was like Tempest. Mr. Tempest, like, that was his his favorite board. I got too much, literally too much BDZ on this brush. I'm very good. Excited to get CRP mounted and start typing. Uh, came built with, I think, R1 navies. Right on. Nice. Aha, I think that's the end of this uh, this album. I think it was just a single disc, as I understand. Let me check to be sure. Feels like it. Okay, back to stream music. Oh, McJizzle just just redeemed a random vinyl. All right, let me clean off. Oh, man, I need to get this. This is too ruby. I'll be back. What was I doing? Oh, random vinyl. <clears throat> oh, I feel like we recently added one to the collection, right? The car therapy sessions, but I didn't I didn't add it to my Discogs collection. Alright, the random we got. Oh how I can't. Oh there it is. Guys, gotta find this. There we go. Pretty quickly found it. All right, and it is open already. This is two discs.
Okay. I remember there was a technique to this and I've forgotten it already. Okay, <laughs> it's super slow at this. Trying to be safe with this, man. There we go. Super slow. I forgot to grab a replacement cloth while I was in the bathroom out there. Ah, Jesus. God damn it. Fuck this. Fucking TX stabilizers, dude. <laughs> God. I bent my nail. Dude, these are so hard to get in. I gotta tell you guys, man. <laughs> Deep dish dot or line for FNJ. I like the dot. I like the nipple. Always my favorite. Stabies are a pain to get into. Oh, my. Oh my god, guys. I am now getting lube all over the place. Got one side down with BDZ all over the housing. Great work.
get it? I think I got it. Good God. Super annoying. So not delightful. Trying out ceramic keycaps, they actually sound really nice and feel nice too, but they do not work great with light springs. They also do not fit the stems well. I'm using OP blacks and they slide off way too easy, but the material is so stiff that I don't think you can make them fit tight either because they would not give it all. I see. Wait, so my biggest issue with the Cerakee, I'm, I'm guessing it's the Cerakee, right? They're the only ones making ceramic keycaps. My biggest issue with that one was compatibility, man. Like I would have, I definitely would have gotten in a set because those colors are really cool. Um, and the idea behind it is really cool, but like, where the hell was the 7U? Where the hell was the uh, split, like the short right shift and the split backspace? But uh, I mean, the prospect of, if, you know, if I had a standard layout to put it on, I definitely would have done it. Yeah, I don't love the compatibility. I feel like I feel like it's got to come later on. Uh, and I was just like, I, I can live to wait personally. Until until it's good, like no reason to get in on something where it's like the compatibility is just not quite there for me. If you get blanks, it's got split backspace. I see, yeah, yeah, yeah. But the, uh, the, oh, it does have short right shift, but it doesn't have, like, 1.5 mods and 7U, right? Yeah, bottom row's trash. <laughs> no step cats, so that's fine for you. Yeah, yeah, I'm cool with that, but need my compatibility. I remember I was like super close. It's funny when I'm just like, I, I get so excited by something and I'm like literally on the verge of checking out before I realize, oh shit, I don't want this, you know? <laughs> I think that happened with Seraki. That happened with a, a Bluetooth thing I was trying to get when I was trying to figure out this Bluetooth transmitter. I had a Bluetooth receiver like in my cart, ready, almost ready to be checked out. Okay, I think we're good there. All right, I'm going to go wash my hands again. I still I got another billion pieces of BDZ all over me, so be back. All right, <clears throat> okay, I need that Blue Alps. I got like a whole extra bag here of Blue Alps. I have had spare Blue Alps for a minute. And I think we should, I think we have enough. I hope we have enough. The stems are so loose, the space bar stabilizer doesn't work. It pops off the other side and just ends up tipped. Oh, that's no good. What if you like kind of try to fill it with some, I don't know, some paper or some solid material, does that? Would that work? Wow. Interesting. Some of these are very uh, interesting. 
these legs. They're like, they still have like a ton of solder on them. All right, I'm gonna flip this, uh, this disc soon, but I'm trying to just figure out what we got going on here. Okay, so that actually does slide through. Not bad. What are we doing here? Are we getting a record? We're getting a record? We did, uh, we do have Damn, which is a 2LP play, and we just finished side A. But uh, Knight's Head, welcome. <clears throat> I wonder, uh, the plate fork, we have a plate fork that kind of probably does work for Alps, so I'm, I'm going to try this out. It's been a while. It's been a minute since we've done an Alps build, right? We did the, uh, the walnut tofu for my subathon, but other than that. Let's try this out. There's a bunch of these switches that, so I've done no tuning on these, but I feel like it's, first of all, it's Alps, and second of all, it's clicky Alps. So let's, let's talk about that. Um, I think that there's a lot of people who make a lot of, or like a big deal about tuning Alps, but I have never, I did it once, and I, I legitimately did not feel like there was a difference between like trying to like do a dry lube and um, just like not lubing. So there's that. Um, second of all, if it's clicky, like I'm not trying to dampen this. Blue Alps are already kind of dampened enough compared to like other clicky, clicky Alps or just clicky switches in general. Oh shit, my bad. I've been on this the whole time, this this screen here, my bad. I just doing all this. <laughs> I never changed the scene. That's why you're like, oh, are you getting a record? I'm like, no, no, this is the random the random choice. Followers Oh my goodness, I've been blowing it tonight, haven't I? <laughs> I always forget. You guys ever see that clip of Soldier Boy streaming and then he only like 30 minutes into his stream did he realize he was on mute the whole time? We remembered for once. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I'm so worried about shit, so I appreciate you. <laughs> Let's 
So we got a few things here. We're going to change one of the springs, the spacebar spring. So we will do that. So what I'm doing is every now and then I'm finding these like crazy bent or just otherwise strange pins. So I'm just trying to correct those. That's what you can see me do with these pliers. That's really, really ugly looking. I'm gonna put that off to the side. There's, that stem looked like all kinds of messed up. So we, you might notice that I'm just using one singular plate fork as opposed to how I usually use like three especially in this top row, but this one right here is one that uh, PC Lowblitter 3D printed just off some file he found online. And uh, what's really cool about this one is that like, I, I think the, uh, the actual fork prongs are thin. They're really, really thin. So I think that's what allows us to be able to do Alps a lot more easily um, because I think the other ones might be a little too thin, like, or thick, like they're not spaced out enough. You might notice I don't have enough here, but I do have an extra little baggie. I think I bought these like off of someone else knowing that I didn't have enough for a 60 build. I think wherever I harvest my first batch of, man, these are so much cleaner. It's crazy. <laughs> wherever I got my first one, um, it's just, it was more than a bit like a single build, but not enough for two. Now, why do I have so many extras? I don't know. Oh, that one's a broken leg. Okay, so that's that, um, but I will get one of these kale box springs. <clears throat> so if anyone uh, is unfamiliar, when it comes to uh, Alp switches, um, Springs are sized a little bit differently from uh, like just typical MX springs, except box springs. Like I think cap springs and box uh, kale box springs and Gateron cap springs are different sized, but um, kale box springs specifically fit like the Alps mold. So this actually works out. Now I need to find a, um, a switch opener for this. So I gotta be back for that too. I don't 
fully recall where it is. I think it might be here. Somewhere, I hope. hell is it? Hmm. I had an Alps opening tool and I can't seem to locate it at the moment. I actually, I think I had a couple. All right, now it has become a hunt. I guess I will have to be back and look for it. Uh -huh. Interesting. Him. All right, so I have two different Alps openers. One of them is also, I think they're both, this one's like laser cut, I believe. This one's 3D printed. This one's cool for opening up Alps. This one's also okay for opening up Alps. It's good for when you have different types of sliders, but let's see if I, I want to get more comfortable with using this one. No, it's, it's hard. So let's just use this one here. This one much easier to just kind of slide in. Okay, so you can see here, this is the original Blue Alps Spring. Is the really, really short one. Come on. It's the really, really short one and we're trying to replace it with this box spring, which uh, it does have kind of the same or at least a similar diameter. will fit better and I think will uh, be able to push that slider up a little bit more nicely with heavier springs like a space bar. For anyone who might not have seen uh, an Alps switch kind of deconstructed, uh, I can just kind of show this off for anyone who might not know. So these are, these are Alps switches. These are complicated like SKCM Alps. Um, so there's this top housing that's very cubic. There's a, a slider, which is just a color, and it's just like a flat slider. Any notion of uh, linearness or tactility or clickiness comes from a little extra, uh, like, uh, tactility leaf um, that's right here, or maybe the absence of one. So that's uh, this little metal piece that slots in right there. Then opposite that, there's another slot here for where the, the contact leaf goes into. And then that comes out the bottom. So this is that, that bottom, which is more like a U than anything. Okay, so uh, I take this long spring here, punch it in into that stem. So that, that spring is in there right now. And then my our best bet is to try to like, try our best to sort of position this properly where that thing gets slotted into the top housing and the spring meets this bottom peg that it needs to get into. Then you just click it together and we're good. That was it. 
punch that in and we are good to go i guess i'll i'll mark this up i haven't typically marked up blue alps but why the hell not we'll mark it up the same way we normally do for mx so put a little silver sharpie mark right there in the, on the side i didn't mark up the uh the stem or anything but i guess one thing i could have done is like change the stem all right looks like that side is done of uh, this disc Go to side C. I will grab the uh, all the soldering equipment here shortly, which includes this guy. Oh, did I leave one in here? Oops. Oh well. Alright, so I will slowly clean all this stuff up. So give me some moments here. We'll tidy up a little bit. Grab the iron shortly. I did like damn a lot. I forget how much I liked it. pretty decent so far. I never listened to a ton of Kendrick. I know a lot of people love Kendrick. I think Kendrick's Kendrick's pretty good. Like I don't I don't think I have the same full fascination of Kendrick as a lot of other people, but the music's good. I like it. something here. Sorry, I'm just off screen right now. Thanks for your patience. Just looking through some stuff. Okay. All right, so I'm not gonna lie. The thing about this, damn, I. So you know, one thing I think about is uh, every now and then, I think um, Mr. Lulstax, who is streaming right now, I love watching Lulstax. 
he's definitely got a different audience and he's definitely got a different vibe i think sometimes i i think he has this redeem for like a he wears like a hat while he's soldering <laughs> which is kind of funny i'm realizing like i just recently got that um that squid hat but then i also i also recognize that a long time ago i bought these balaclavas one of them is very much a ski mask, really. Solder squid. <laughs> Check this out. It's like I ain't gotta wear that, I could just wear this. Make a redeem, let me cop that. Hey, I'll just give it to you for free tonight. <laughs> Ski mask the thought god. <laughs> it's really hard seeing right here. Like at the, the bridge of my nose. But I, uh, I love Mr. Ski mask. All right, I guess we'll just go and do this. Oh shit, I realize I never tested the PCB. I hope it's okay. I guess we'll find out. I guess this is good for not breathing this in through my nose. But it still just directly gets to my mouth. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do all the single legs and then I'm going to do alignment pushes after for every single one. I just realized. Wow, I totally missed the game. Or at least the end of the game. Did the Lakers win? Lakers won. Oh, oh that was a close game. Yeah, they had some separation a little earlier. Wow, Lonnie Walker killed it. play-by-play -play win at the end. Wait, did it really go into overtime? Holy smokes. Actually made a comeback. Reminds me of some rapper who wears a white ski mask in his album covers. I can't remember his name off the top of my head. Who is it? There's, I know there's a rumor. The guy who, uh, like the country rapper. RMR. Yo! I love Rumor. Rumor's great. Uh, hey, yo, spring roll is going on. Oh, it's like kid something. It's been a while since I was to him, but his shit was fire. The comments on his video are so jokes. <laughs> kid, who's the kid? Who is this? Oh, let's shift. Hey, yo, spring roll. The guy with the embedded salutation in his name. Are you still doing cassette tape stuffs? 
Uh, I put that on pause. Yeah. Um, I messed up that Nakamichi really bad. And I probably honestly should have got myself on a wait list for a Nakamichi repair, but uh, I never did. Uh, it's pricey, man. Uh, I kind of, like, might want to just punt on it entirely, and then just, like, pick up that modern new task M that I think a lot of enthusiasts don't like, but it just would be way easier, to be honest. I'm a whole package, hell yeah. Kill Combat, welcome! I appeared the new Joji merch and it comes with a cassette tape of his album, but you're the only guy who I know who does cassette stuff. Yeah, I feel like cassette as merch is largely just like, it's just a toy because like not a lot of people who are actually getting it. Like I, I feel like you'd be hard pressed to find someone who's actually playing them. <laughs> Dang, I forgot about this song. I was wondering if you wanted it. Uh, I'd love it. <laughs> I would absolutely love it. Holy shit, just mounting up CRPR4 to make me buy R5, right? Bucking me. <laughs> Better send it. Hey, yo. Hey, that's what's up, dude. Oh, I really appreciate that. It's like I'll play it eventually <laughs> once I have a cassette thing, a cassette situation figured out. probably like go more at an angle like an angle that can be seen all right I suddenly got some dirty power in here hope to hear it on stream one day hey well, for sure you're be cooking dinner alert hey thank you for looking as my bot says I did not test this PCB at all. I was really hoping I'd get a white numpad in R5 to go with my JP black, a pink black R4, but they are doing JP pink on beige in R4. I guess R5. RIP, yeah. I, I actually am going to really like the, the beige but but I'm sure there's got to be someone who wait there is a a numpad kit right and at least an R4 hopefully there's someone out there who's just got it I think CRP is nice but I also think it's a little overhyped oh man I think color wise I, I don't I don't blame you for thinking that, but in terms of feel, like, I, I just always loved it. Um, like, I would love if they just did, like, other plastic colors, or, like, other you know, pigments in it or whatever. Um, I have to wait till that ever happens. There's an upcut pad kit, but they ran out before I could get it. I see, I see. I think I've had keycaps that feel this good before. These feel awesome. Yeah, for sure. I, I love the smoothness on it. Also, I think I finished soldering everything. So let me do all these alignment pushes.
same year. Um, CRP kind of, I think it used to be called BSP. Ooh, that was a good alignment push. Um, or it's that like the tooling was picked up and then like the by someone else who opted to change the name. Oh man, these alignment pushes are awesome. I'm gonna grab a glove. Cannon Caps makes a smoother PBT, at least Earl Grey is smoother. I think there are a lot of really good PBT manufacturers uh, now, but I do really like my CRP. Okay, I gotta try other PBTs, but I've just always really loved CRP slash BSP. I know that they've been doing, like, Novel Keys has their own PBT, and, like, I've always been meaning to try because I think Novel Keys has some of the best looking ones out of, like, all of the, the more modern PBTs. Um, colorways that they produce. I think charcoal is great. I think raw is funny. Um, Blossom looks really good. So I'd love to be able to try it. Just got to get around to it. I'm hoping and just honestly betting that there's going to be good sales for Black Friday on a lot of novel key stuff. So I'll stick around and wait, see what happens. actually not aligned or already aligned a lot of these aren't and so this whole process is actually really worth it Novel Keys has nice feel and sound, but the printing is a touch less crisp than CRP. But I think the colors, price, and availability make them fantastic. But you think, on, but on top of that, you think Canon Caps beats them out, both Novel Keys and CRP, in terms of smoothness. Nice PBT sets that I have, I think, are really similar in quality to CRP but are a touch less smooth. I see. Is Nice PBT also Canon? Canon Keys? I know there's Canon Caps and Nice PBT. Are they both from Canon Keys? Yes, it is. I see.
right, just a few more left of these first legs. Getting the alignment as good as I can. This is the last one here. All right, that one's real good. I'm not sure I would say cannon caps are better quality. I just really enjoyed the extremely smooth texture. I think many of these are different, but equal. Let me see. I definitely got to try more. That's 100% certain. Okay, let me also make sure that things just look good. Yes, it's hard to tell. It's like some of the stems are a little beat up. That one doesn't seem aligned super properly. Like when the stems are beat up, then it kind of looks like it's misaligned. But I don't know. I'm, I'm just going to guess for the most part, this is probably all fine. This one seems a little fun funky. That one looks really bad. Like the stem looks, some of these stems look really, really ugly. I wish I caught that one sooner, but it's not like it sounds or feels bad. It just looks ugly. I'm not going to lie, this ski mask is getting kind of annoying. I was watching uh, Smiling Down, Smiling Down's channel, I love Smiling Down. Met him a couple times in person, He's he wears like ski masks and stuff. And I'm just like, how does he do it man? He's getting really warm. <laughs> I've not tried the Kinetic Labs PBT caps yet. Uh, actually I have, Ada, Ada has a set. Um, I remember thinking, oh, it's alright. I think EPBT is one of my less favorite ones. I, I'm not sure I like that rough texture. But they have, I feel like, in terms of their quality, they, they seem like a pretty classic good quality. Is this a new redeem? I have not set up a redeem for this yet. I was thinking about hats, because I was thinking about uh, Mr. Lulstacks and how he does, a, like, solder with a hat and I realize I have some masks. I have a Fendi balaclava. Seems fun. Kajata, uh, welcome by the way. Most EPBT these days is actually ABS and their ABS is not great. I, I see that often, like they, that they have double shots, but um, I know that they're still kind of doing PBT here and there, right? You know, with Kuroshiro and the black and white Hangul. I agree, but EPBT, PBT is not a great texture. I agree. Yeah. But it's cool. What they do is looks good. This looks painful. I'm getting really warm in the ski mask. <laughs> also, this uh, soldering this in where it's like it's one big clump. Um, like it's not two separated holes for the... Like this, I guess, left pin, or I guess you call it right pin from this side. So I'm just like, if I don't fill it all the way, is it gonna, is it gonna be okay? I'm not really sure. Do I need to cover the hole? Kind of love EPBT kits though. They look good. I just don't think they feel the best out of all of the PBTs out there. Ivory and Duo. I forget what those two look like. I know I've, I've seen those names a lot, but I just, I forget what they look like. PBT fans is also interesting, but don't buy the double shot PBT. In my opinion, my purple is pretty scuffed and really easy to scratch. I see. 
Um, I don't like the PBT fans legends like at all. Like I, I don't know. I just I I've seen them and it's just like I'm I'm just not into it. And I think that's perfectly fine if other people are like into like how it feels and sounds and, and also how it looks, but I it's just I don't get good taste to it. I don't, I don't think you'd find me putting that on a board, <laughs> to be honest. Been liking my purple so far. So far, the texture on it is nice. Probably gonna stay on the meme clunker build. That being said, <laughs> is that the you got a Boston or am I remembering that correctly? Oh my god! I can't wait to take this thing off. This is getting kind of annoying. Trial run of wearing a ski mask. I gotta tell you guys, the redeem for it would be really high if I decide to go through with it. <laughs> it's gonna be like all your points. I do have Boston, but I have black and white MT3 on that. Might switch that up for something chart profile adventure. Eventually, Clunker is my 40 with a Solenoid. Ah, got it. I've never really played with Solenoids. I I had a, an OG Kish Saber, which is something really probably worth a pretty penny right now. And there was a Solenoid in it, I think, but it was like non-working, like non-functioning. So I've never done any Solenoid builds. Your fucking hilarious shit is so dumb loud. Mechwild boards seem fun. Are they have any HHKB avail? <laughs> any HHKB solenoids? I really wish that um, the Ellipse did Model F keyboards in like true HHKB and not just like nicely split backspace split right shift like win key standard like that's what's kind of been pausing like i still want to get one uh just to be able to compare and i hope they actually do one with um with the beam spring Hold up, I'll check. Uh, MW boards are for sure fun. I wonder if you could mod the clunker to be an HHKB, but you need a custom plate for sure. But it is a 40, right? So it'd, it'd be like a, a tiny HHKB. Right? Is that what you mentioned?
guess that's it. That's them. That was Duckworth. Almost finished up here. Gonna get some new music back on. Post in Discord right on. Yeah, be a little baby like my brain. 40 plus partial number and knob, I see. Okay, the mask is coming off. If I have to make any corrections, it's going to be without this. Oh, not a fan of that. That's going to be like a 100k redeem. <laughs> Alright, let's use my eagle eyes here. I get everything. Hard to really 100% fully tell. I think it's like the, the really wide holes I think I might have missed some just because they're so wide and then I can't tell if like there's a hole literally oh my god <laughs> fan caught my hair <laughs> what the hell did that even happen Gotta be a little further from this, I guess. Okay. Um, it's hard to tell if there are like literally empty holes in this or if that's just weird lighting. Because it kind of looks like holes. So I'm not quite done yet, I don't think. I'm going through and checking for holes. few more just around still scoping it out thank you for your patience Okay, I think I've covered it, but it is worthwhile to test. Should we test this out? Let's bring this uh, Falcon back into the picture. We have it largely disassembled, although... Ugh, oh, that is really ugly, all of this. Maybe I could use one of these uh, daughter boards, I guess, if I recall which one is the daughter board. No issues can be mech wild stuff, by the way. They mostly do smaller boards. Yeah, I figure. If there was, I would know about it, right? Am I right? <laughs> All right. 
Let's test this out here. Uh, before I do that, let's bring up Via. Damn it, wrong button, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's too easy. Too easy to press. Oh, that's bad. Is everything just slow or are all these switches fucked up? We got some issues here. matrix tester either because I don't think this is this is not via compatible I also don't remember at all how to like program this wow yeah that's a super super low rate isn't it so this could be solder issues it also could be um, anything so I'm going to unplug this really quickly and I'm going to take a closer look to see what the problem ones look like because it, it just might be like the holes are so big I might not have hit a lot of them with solder. Like I can see like one, one two, three. Three doesn't look full. That's still bad. There's also a blinking red light on the bottom of the PCB. It's a really, really tiny LED. Kind of weird. Wait, nine suddenly works. Boy, this is a terrible build. Let's try this P. I see something funny with the P. Are we surprised that the build is terrible? I guess not. Yeah, P's still not working. I think this might be a switch problem. Can you, so what happens if you solder while you're plugged in? That's not, is that a bad thing? This might be a switch problem. No clue. Hey yo, and Dixie is welcome. Welcome back. Boy, 
we are struggling. We are struggling hard. A lot of these switches seem to be no good. back to life here. Some. Weirdly. I feel like part of me wonders if I'm like just on a layer. Hard to tell. Hmm. What do we do? try see if we can get these tops off without removing so I did and I gotta tell you I just noticed something very very interesting um, the switch plate that I just pulled this out of um, is white it's not actually gray is kind of weird. Kind of weird, not gonna lie. Any tweezers. had some tweezers can't really locate them but okay hmm weird That is also a white switch plate. I wonder if all these broken ones are using like the wrong switch plates and if, cause it's been so long since I've touched these that I have no clue. Hmm. All right, let me, Let me open up a working one. So the A should be working. So the A also uses a white switch plate. So I'm not crazy. Apparently that's not out of the ordinary. Trying to figure out how to reassemble this though. Boy, that's yeah, that's wrong. I could feel it not be right. <laughs> hmm. 
Hmm. Okay, so that is correct. Hmm. Yeah, there's a ton of bad switch plates. So yeah, <laughs> you know what I think has happened? Um, we had experienced a situation with this before with some orange alps. And um, I think one issue is, well, we should have tested the PCB. But on the other hand, we also should have tested the switches with some, uh, like with a multimeter. I think that was a big mistake not doing that here, especially considering these Blues have just been sitting here for so long. So I think these need to entirely be replaced. Oh, that W suddenly worked, but not all the time. So that, that feels like a switch problem, very much so. Like one thing I can kind of see is that if you you kind of shift back and forth, um, like as you press down, you can get some of these to actually activate. Like that one. Not straight down, but shifted. So these, these seem like bad switch plate problems. This was kind of a mistake. <laughs> Totally off topic, but why I'm so in love with this uh, Const T, too bad it's not an HHKB for you. <laughs> too bad. It's like half, so it's more, it's definitely more than half. that seated properly. I think it did. Uh, this whole bottom section. Okay, N kind of does it, but none of these. Z, oh, Z kind of does. Function. Oh, okay. Is this like Vim arrows? And this one just doesn't work? I think it is. HJKL? So I think there's a Vim. <laughs> On a second layer, there's Vim arrows. Because I, I don't know that I just have any extra switch plates that I know to work. So I think I probably have to, I don't know, harvest them from something. 
I could look around. I have a bunch of what appear to be harvested switch plates in this. I think these are from some Black Alps, but like the problem is if I see some some switch plates that are just like sitting here, my guess are that these are also bad. <laughs> like what expectation do I have that these are good? I mean, there's a chance. A chance. <laughs> Like, uh, I know that the 101, the Dell 101 that I did desolder from, like, it's just, I mean, it's 101 keys and I only needed 60. So maybe in that respect, these might actually possibly work. And so that would be, what, 41 extra. And these are all white switch plates, too. Um, so these may potentially work. I'm just not certain. Okay, um, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna reset this and try to do another quick test here. this is a good place to sort of pause here it's been what we're about two hours into stream so it's not like this has been a freakishly long stream already yet I just still wish that I did <laughs> I did just test all of this shit before so here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a quick round of potential desoldering here and because uh, like, like part of me is like I kind of wanted to just end <laughs> or like, you know, just like pretend like this was a fully built board, but not have it actually work. But I was only going to do that if we were really, really late into stream and truthfully we're not. So might as well. bummer for real it is but you know like let's let's do like a quick round of this and if we can get this like if this isn't so bad then then we'll like try to get this to completion if you bridge the pins do they work i don't think it's a pcb problem um it's a switch problem um so like if if there's a problem with the switch there's there's nothing there's nothing we can do there out of the way so this is escape one two so three and four escape one two three and four So I'm gonna pull these two out and we'll just like try to do a little discovery here. If it's possible, I make no guarantees. Okay, this one feels like it could come out. Okay. All right, both of these came out. So here's what we're gonna do. I gotta go find my multimeter, which I think is behind me, underneath. 
and boxes of keyboards. just been on the whole time. I think I had that switched on for since the subathon. So we're going to pull out the uh, the probes and instead use the alligator clips here. Okay, uh, and then um, I had some of these extra um, blue switches here that we can like take a look at. So I think these ones in this bag presumably are good, but let's find out. So as an example here, the idea is if I can clip these onto these legs. Oh shit. Which is... I wished it were very, very mildly easier because it is, as of right now, not super easy. But if I clip these on, the idea is, the idea is, I don't know, I don't know what the idea is. Is this one not working? I would assume. Oh, there we go. So that that seems to me like this is a working switch. So let's I'll continue the chain here. Also seems like a working switch. Now, here are the ones that I just desoldered. And they don't they just don't so that one's like broken. That one also seems broken. I'll go bring in some of these other extras here. That seems to work. And I think that's just, that's kind of how the test works. Now, I wish I did this in advance. So I could have, like at least in advance of the stream or even just at the beginning of the stream. But I didn't. <laughs> I wished I did. So this one, unfortunately, it was in the good batch, but also seems broken, I guess. That one seems good. Also good. This one has a kind of semi-broken leg. I kind of want to avoid those. These switches are harvested from something else. Can't remember if you said or not. These are definitely harvested from something else and also from different batches. So um, I believe it's the case that like a good portion of these. So I have another Blue Alps build. Um, uh, a portion of these came from the same board that the other one was in, which was, a, I, I guess, a leading edge DC... 30 something something I forget the numbers exactly um, yeah I don't know why I pulled these out other than this one right here has a really ugly stem but we'll see if that works um, I think the remaining must have been like okay I saw that I had more than like a bunch of extras but not enough for a 60 so I think I just went to the aftermarket and just tried to to buy some off somebody else. All right, also broken. Now, I wonder, these ones with these half broken legs, I wonder if they actually activate. So this one actually does, but the leg is broken. And I don't know how big of a nightmare that is if I potentially want to try to like desolder in the future. Or even for that matter, how 
painful it is to even just solder it in to begin with. But those three actually work. Uh, I have a bunch of remaining stuff, but not a bottom nor a switch plate in this guy. So I have somewhere, somewhere between six to eight spares that just will work. Um, but that's not nearly enough. Okay, this actually also seems to be good. Uh, that's not nearly enough for like the rest of this build. Um, these five are broken-ish. Now, one thing, a couple of things I could do. I can desolder a bunch of these, and I probably will. But we can take a look at some of these that are bad, the ones that don't activate. It's like this one, for example, doesn't. Whereas, again, to confirm, these guys in this pile do. So I'm going to put all the good ones in a in a bucket here. And I'm debating whether or not these are good, so I'm going to put this in a different bucket. Um, but I guess in the meantime, I'll shut this off. Um, I have here a bunch of um, harvested parts from Black Alps. Now, Black Alps, these are not pine, so there's two different types of complicated Alps housing, um, one of which is called pine and the other one is called bamboo. Um, I believe these are bamboo, um, but I just need to tell whether or not these housings or these switch plates match what's in here. So we crack these open. Let's find out. So I'm going to open up, like this is one of the bad switches, right? So I'm going to open this guy up and the plan is to see like, oh, hey, take a look at this. This is a gray switch plate. And sometimes there's like there's a difference between these gray and these white switch plates. They have different heights. And I wonder, I'm left to wonder how many of these are like this. It's like totally different. Yeah. You could see this here. So this work there we go um, so if you align them at the top you could see that the gray one is slightly longer and I think that the idea is that on a pine housing the pine switch plate um, is supposed to like not rest on something but just rest on the bare bottom um, and I do think that there's a notion that it's supposed to like feel different. Um, now this one came from here. There is the, yeah, there is no bottom to rest on, but I've noticed that, uh, a bunch of these did come with the white switch plates, which is a little weird. I don't know exactly which one this is supposed to come with. I'm going to guess they were supposed to come with the gray ones, but we're just seeing right off the bat. One of these gray ones didn't really even work. And we've seen some working ones, whoops, we've seen some working ones that are white. And like the idea is like, well, at least they work. Alps, Gordon Derp, welcome. Good to see you. So we, we have definitely a bunch of Alps struggles here this evening. And I am hoping that we can resolve them but I can't be certain that we will. Flexing with the Blue Alps? Yeah, flexing, but they're all like broken. All right, this one didn't even, I didn't close it properly. So I think some of these Blue Alps have a mishmash of switch plates that I don't think belong to them. Classic Alps, yep. Classic Alps. Come on, man. I am suddenly reminded of a time when I used to just play Bossa Nova on stream. And 
we somewhat come sort of full circle here. Oh my god, I feel like if anything I'm messing up this switch plate right now. Not able to fit this in properly. My goodness. Bossa Nova is chill as fuck? Yeah. 100%. Okay, so I got one of these white switch plates in. Now it's worthwhile to test. Okay, so unfortunately, it still doesn't sound like this works. Actually, it does. Okay, sometimes the, the sound thingy doesn't activate right away. There's also a chance that maybe the switch plate is finicky, like it'll work sometimes. Yeah. That seems more likely. So now it's like, it's kind of working. Seems good now. Man, that scuffed is pretty scuffed. <laughs> like, I don't know. I don't know if this is worthwhile to like do this. I mean, the problem is that like, you know, Blue Ops is really cool. Um, a situation here where you have like a batch that's not so great is not so great, you know? Uh, okay, well. Hmm. Two and a half hours into stream. I mean, I guess let's just do this. It's definitely one of the most switches of all time. That is true. That is very, very true. Okay, so I'm gonna desolder. I'm gonna desolder all these bad ones that you can kind of see here. So we've done three and four already, but there's a bunch. Um, and then on top of that, it's not really like I'm looking at the matrix right now. So it's like caps lock has left control, so that doesn't seem as bad. And then we don't have controls, but some of these other things are just generally weird. Like it's hard to like really, really read and know exactly what it is. Like, what is this right control? I have no clue. So part of me is like, well, we kind of need to plug this in and recall what some of these problem ones are or could be. So right control is really right win. I believe the function key is okay. I, I'm not 100% certain like what is this map to? This um, second from the right on the top, is this mapped to backslash? I'm going to guess so, but I don't know. <laughs> it's like, eh, I don't know. Wax time. I, I, I don't tune my op switches. I, I Like, I've done lubing once, and I just didn't find it to be useful at all. Like, I, I found no difference personally. I've never done wax, like wax mods, but if... If lubing did nothing, I feel like, eh, eh. Okay, so we're gonna, I guess we're just gonna desolder most, if not all of these, but hard to really figure it out when I don't have the matrix really in front of me. It's just like, I'm left to kind of guess some of these. Right. I don't know why I keep getting rid of this. Okay, uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Five, six, seven, eight. All right, I'm gonna do single legs for the time being. 
Just, I want to hit all of them. So I think that would be this guy right here. Is one we said was not working. Okay, tab Q. Q is bad. Boy, I really should have done this testing earlier, man. <laughs> and this probably should have been a chore stream instead of a build wed. Q, W, E. R, T, and then four in a row. Dude, my matrix style paper build was awful. Awful actual hell, that build. I didn't never knew that matrix did Alps PCBs. Uh, yeah, <laughs> and plates. Uh, w w tell me about your um, matrix taupe ray build. Tell me all about it. Okay, control is good, but A is also good, but S, D, and F in a row are not. Tell me stories of Mr. Topre Matrix. And this this one right here is not Matrix's fault. This is a fault of I don't know, failing switches. A S D F G H J K and then L is bad. semicolon and then apostrophe is bad had a weird issue I've pressed multiple keys and starts going nuts oh no did a spring is there an extra spring in there <laughs> so that's the literal only thing I can think of a random extra spring floating around I need to rebuild, but honestly, I don't want to. I need to reseed it, probably. I see. That That probably makes sense. Okay. Z, X, C, V, B, N, M. So M is working. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take out this N right here. And then everything in between Z and N is broken down. Okay, and then now that I got to M and that's good, the next one's broken. The next one is working. And then the next one's broken. Okay, and then I believe those last two are working. And then I think the last one is left win key. So that would be this one. Also, the domes did not feel great. Yeah, I, I don't like the Deskies domes. Honestly, Really, the only domes I actually like are Pro 2 domes, 55 gram uh, Real Force R1 domes, and then these BKE heavies. I, I think those are the only three I could potentially ever use. Like, I don't think I like any other domes. 
like all these new classic ones like the or sorry the the new hhkb pro 3 like hybrid and classic hybrid type s they feel weird uh all these different desky ones also feel weird i want to try the desky carrots i i think i think i tried them and i still didn't think they were as good as the bke heavies but again bke heavies like they feel good but they're really heavy but they feel like they work <laughs> they, they feel like they work and they feel like they work correctly but they're really hard to type on <laughs> and i say that as someone who likes heavy like a heavy typing experience okay let's do a little bit of a little tiny bit of cleaning BKE heavy, BKE heavies feel like punch me back. <laughs> okay. Uh, also, I'll do a full, full clean here. Why not? one is to open this up here are the chime on kit welcome yeah this is this has been totally scuffed but welcome uh many of my switch plates uh, on these blue alps that i soldered in without testing the switch plates are just bad on like over half i mean take a look at this <laughs> so we're doing a desolder job here <laughs> And we're going to do one round of this, and if it's still bad after all of this. So, um, Ankit, I, uh, I'm not sure your level of familiarity. I don't mean to be like condescending to you or anyone else here. but uh, So, in terms of the Alps construction, uh, like the switches here, um, there's a notion of these, like, the switch plates here that, like, end up being on the side, the, the sort of contact plate or whatever that you would uh, use for like actuating or activating uh, keys like sometimes they're just bad and there's there's not more much more to it than that um and over half of them are bad in this so uh yeah we gotta we gotta address some of this all right meanwhile i've just recognized that i don't have any music playing so let me go and replug this board back in that should work and uh, find another playlist here. Not this, we just listened to this earlier. All right, let's go with this. This should last us about an hour and a half to two. Sometimes they're bad and sometimes half a board is switches. Yeah, that's exactly it. <laughs> sometimes that's just how it is. Okay. So let's continue along on this uh, big desolder job. Mm. Gotcha, my only Alice experience has been new old stock whites, haven't tried anything fancy on personal builds. Yeah, some of these old harvested ones are, are not so great. That's for sure. <laughs> If there is a stock I would recommend, it would be new old stock. Okay, let me, I'm going to pull these off just so I don't lose my place here. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, these should be removable. So, these are bad. I have a whole pile of bad ones here. Uh, and then the plus is bad, and also the backslash. 
Wait, is that right? I think I forgot a whole switch to desolder. Damn, this is like annoying. <laughs> I feel like I need to retest all of this yet again just to be certain that I didn't miss any. So I'm going to do that. Fuck. No way, dude. Oh my goodness. Uh, you know, there's an easier way to do this, which is to get my QK60 back on wireless. <laughs> so that way I could have both keyboards functioning at the same time. Okay, I think we're good. Alright, here we go. feels really st these guys I don't trust these guys this R and this Y about that <laughs> okay seven doesn't actually work yeah no that was my cable resting on top of my QK 60s seven key I believe it was a seven key because uh, the QK 60 switches that are in there they're too light <laughs> okay Let's continue along. So that's minus. I think we just totally forgot plus. Yo, new mixtape about to drop. <laughs> you know it. Q. Somehow the W wasn't very activatable there this time around. Q, W, E. So apparently R is good. T. I don't trust the Y though. as well even though I think that was supposed to have been safe from earlier it is not R is good We're good there. And then a long or a three, three key stretch on the middle row. And 
And then apparently a good stretch here. Four good ones, which is surprising. So for anyone just tuning in, uh, just a quick recap. Um, one thing you should always do, especially with older harvested Alps, um, get a multimeter and test your switches beforehand. It makes it really easy if you have like alligator clips instead of like probes. So I'll make that suggestion first. Um, test your Alp switches. It is a process I often forget. I, you, you know, it's like I didn't even do it with um, the the walnut tofu Alps build that I did. Um, but in retrospect, it's like I should have. Um, fortunately, that one all just worked. Which is surprising. These blue Alps though, no, uh, no similar luck there. is it um, I think but I'm gonna keep this on for now while I just start to try to pull these off so here's a, gonna be the pile of bads fortunately a lot of these or desoldering really cleanly and that's I think probably just a, a nice factor of uh, of um, using a new nozzle having the filters all good set to go Q W E R T Y U I O so O is actually good I didn't desolder that and then the rest of these are good This stretch of four is good. It's G, H, J, K, and then L is bad. C, X, C, B, B, N. Two more here. And after that, it alternates. Amazingly, amazingly. This has desoldered really well. Okay, so I think that about covers it. Let me, it's kind of a little bit hard to tell, but I'll try my best here. The rest of these should be good. And I guess we can, we can actually corroborate this. The remaining switches are all soldered in and they should all do something. spotty that G I don't like that G and that K the G and the K are bad as is the apostrophe so there's three more here this is bad man that one's bad So I'm not happy with G, K, uh, this guy right here, angle or period, G, K, period, and apostrophe. Not a fan. Oh, probably because apostrophe is desoldered and I forgot to pull it out. Boy, this is most of the switches, to be honest. A, S, T, F, G. And then I 
think it was this guy here. Very sad. Very sad. <laughs> oh my goodness. now let's try again oh did I escape is also bad and I never desoldered it good god <laughs> so pathetic Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight. Literally less than half. Twenty-eight to thirty-two. Thirty-two of these switches are broken. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes, Chris. Yeah, I, I need to go more of an angle, huh? <laughs> okay, so, and then these are the the giant list of bad ones. The baddies. Uh, and then these are ones that we were able to recover in full. These three over here are working, but they have clipped legs. Like the legs just didn't decide to live anymore. Um, so... Good God, okay. So, I mean, I guess I could punch these in now. As I used to say while working on a body shop, it's a total loss, let it die. JK, I want to see you succeed. Um, the part that I worry about is that there's not even, I might not even have enough switch plates here. And even if I had enough, they might not all be working. <laughs> so the switch plate harvesting is something that needs to happen there is another option which is I could just go and desolder all the working blue alps uh, from the other blue alps board that I have <laughs> or just enough to make this work but I mean at some point we're going to all realize how ridiculous this is and at some point I'm going to be like four hours into stream wondering why I'm doing anything. Okay, so I think we have enough pushed into the top and bottom rows. So we have uh, whatever the remaining amount is here to just do. Uh, sorry, I need to turn that on, but okay. So, um, bad switch plates, we'll put it into a tray that's kind of off screen. Okay, so let's open all of these up individually and just check them out. All right, so this one is a white switch plate that, yeah, I mean, it's, it's no good. So um, the next steps here would be to um, throw in some of these other switch plates here, and we can kind of tell... Yeah, man, this is fucked. <laughs> like, these have to be the taller ones. So, yeah, I, I don't even know what I did with that last one. It was It's in here somewhere. But um, at this point, what I'm doing here is kind of nonsense. So, as it turns out, uh, what I'm guessing here... Gok, welcome. How long have you been keeping these stashed away for? Uh, a while, but I mean, like, I mean, they're not even good. Uh, like, we have a big problem. Most of these didn't work. 
Um, I pu I pushed in a bunch of new ones, but like even here, like this is this is bad. This is this is a bunch of baloney at this point. Like I shouldn't be using these these, I think bamboo, black Alps switch plates because they they don't even measure to the same height as the ones that these these blue Alps ones do. I mean, like I don't, <laughs> I don't know what the move is here. I could have them be a mix of pine and bamboo switch plates. It's just kind of goofy, you know. I shouldn't have changed the one that I did change earlier though. It's like I could probably try to find it. Scuff just the way we liked it. I'm gonna I'm not gonna lie. I, I don't think that this is we're not gonna end the stream on a finished build. So um what I could do is just try to figure out how to move forward from here. So I'll, I'll do that for the rest of the stream, just like uncover which ones all the bad ones are. And then we're gonna have to just get some pine switch plates from somewhere. I mean, this one's... I don't know what I'm doing here. These are these are ones that are working, I think. So, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to find one specific white one that I plugged in from a little bit earlier. So I guess I'll do this slowly. All right, so that one's gray. So these pine switch plates, they come in either gray or white, but the key is that they're tall. Their height is the only thing that matters. The color doesn't. I had just assumed that if it were white, it were shorter. That's not true. What a waste of a ski mask wearing earlier. Okay, I think that's actually it. That was little fewer that I thought that were actually good and working. <laughs> wow. Uh, <laughs> Should have clipped that, damn it. Wait, what? The ski mask part of it? I think this is gray. Ski mask? You could definitely go back. Okay, here's a white one. Let's check to see, is it the short one? I believe it is. All right, this was the short one. Okay, so there's that. I can check through these other ones, but I'm pretty sure we're gonna find that they're either gonna be gray or they're gonna be white but tall. So that one looks gray. Let me just do quick checks. Gray.
Okay. So, uh, a couple of moves here, I guess. Man, <laughs> this is lame, dude. <laughs> this is just so lame. This whole build. <laughs> I need pine house or pine switch plates. Good God. Alrighty. Um, let's bag up some of this stuff. Just get some of this stuff out of the way here. So these are all bamboo switch plates and black stems. Low key a bummer. Jug aside, sorry that stuff. Uh, no worries. I mean, it, it's like I should have expected this as a possibility, but I just forgot. Um, this was worse when I didn't know about any of this and didn't deal with it, or like just had no experience on how to really, really fully deal with it. Um, but I. <laughs> I remember now, and it's, I guess, it's just how it is. <laughs> God, there's too much shit here. Just gonna toss all of that over there. Uh, and so, man, I need more trays. Maybe I can recover some of these trays by again reassembling all this. Okay, so the hope is that if I solder these, if I were to solder these. These, this whole top row should actually work. And in fact, there's also these three that have like half cut legs. I'm curious to see what they would look like. They look like they're, they are solderable. It's just like, you know, the leg is partially cut, so desoldering would be not super chill. Like this one looks too short, for example. So out of three that were short, two of them look too short. One of them actually looks somewhat usable. So I'm gonna do that real quick, just so I could recover some trays. zoom out a bit. Hydrate, let's hydrate. Pretty soon, pretty soon. Alright, here we go. So we'll do this same thing again. I'll do single legs and then push to a line. And then do the second legs. But there's much fewer here now. <laughs> this mix is great. Alright, 
So that's pretty much it here. So we'll do alignment pushes. This <laughs> is stupid toad. Good there. Alright, that should just about do that. Okay. So escape works now. Oh, nine's still bad, bruh. Well, let's try this one more time. Oh, nine's okay. Oh, nine seems spotty. I don't like nine. Nine seems spotty. Solder nine. I I don't like how spotty that is. We'll desolder nine and then clean out this uh, gun. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I guess that's this guy. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> you want your keys to type when you press them? Why would you want that? Yeah, weird, right? Okay, we'll call that one bad or bad ish. All right, and then one last plug to check before we just like scoot this away because no bueno. as much as we could do on this all right uh, the remainder of the stream will be chores we're going to do some discovery on these guys let's bring the multimeter back in have to go to bed uh, or I need to go to bed have a good night Chris hey appreciate hey, appreciate you coming in here as always thanks so much hope you have a good night that's crazy. Let's 
So let me put some pliers to these guys. Straight out of, straighten out a bunch of legs. That seems to be key. Hang out for another batch of looming switches at least because I really want to type on this constant. <laughs> Glad you found a board that you're you're loving. Oh my god. Thock thumbs. I appreciate that. I don't think we're doing so so well, but I appreciate the kind words. Hasn't hasn't been the build we were looking for, but hey. Uh if not now, then it would have been later, you know? So that's the way I kind of look at it. Okay. So I currently have this many non-working Blue Alps switches. When your dad looks at you after the game, you did your best. Confirmed bad. We're just going to confirm all of these are bad. And I guess we need a good switch, like as a control, hmm. which I just soldered in every good switch. So, <laughs> oops. All right, let me grab an orange Alps. All right, so that's a working Orange Alps. That's our control, just to make sure that our buzzer is working properly. And as soon as we confirm that all of these are broken, uh, I'll disassemble all of them and then sort through all the, the different pieces. That was the two clips probing each other so that was kind of a false positive. All right, let's go back, check our control again. Still good. Oh, let's do the overhead. Ah, uh, one thing I'll do in between here is uh, I will clean off the uh, the iron or the gun. So there might be one or two in here that like, they might activate, but really spottily. Is today Wednesday? Today's Wednesday, right? Or Wednesday for another two minutes here. In sunny San Francisco. I'm gonna turn the air off here. I'm getting kind of chilly. Hey, buddy. Oh my. Hammer brother with the big O raid. Oh my goodness. I know Kung Fu. Big Kung Fu raid incoming. Are you playing like the Matrix or something? A Matrix video game. Sunny San Francisco. It's not sunny here. It's sometimes sunny. Very rarely. He's having no issues at all with the rain. Loud brother, welcome. Spicy G Gong, welcome back. Key Circle, Frank, everybody, welcome back. And Hammer Brother, what were you up to? Hope your hope your stream went well. Thank you for the raid. It's in reference to your matrix. Ah. Yeah, this has not been going well at all. <laughs> Yeah, this, this board's not going to be completed. So at this point, this is a chore stream. Um, over half of the switches I soldered in were uh, non-working. It wasn't a PCB issue. It's specifically an Alps switch plate issue. Rebuilt my Tiger 80 light. How's your matrix going? Red pill or blue pill tonight? 
So it's the Matrix Revolutions. Yeah, pretty much. It's it wasn't the board. It was the switches. Um user error, I'm not sure if we want to call it that. Um kind of. Like for me, it's like I should have tested these beforehand. I didn't. And we're in this we're in the spot that we're in. Okay, so again, just going back to the control here, seeing that this the buzzer is still active. Um, so yeah, uh, if anybody here has, or I guess doesn't, doesn't have familiarity, whether or not you have familiar, familiarity with Alps, basically um, these SKCM Blue Alps, they're sometimes nicknamed complicated Alps. Um, there's a mechanism inside that's supposed to help you know to activate like the switch when um, you know you, you press it down and it's complicated literally it's complicated I think the that might be the reason why they call it this is because that mechanism inside is called a switch plate and um, it's super weird okay this is one of those spotty ones um, it's super weird um, and really complicated and sometimes like if you're going through like a bunch of harvested really old kind of messed up switches then they just might not work and you're supposed to kind of test them I, I feel like I'm supposed to test them beforehand but it's been a minute since I did an Alps build so I just kind of forgot to test them and so over half of these switches were non-working in terms of ones I've soldered in so I had to desolder them and yeah, confirmed not working, except for this guy, which seems to be working maybe three quarters of the time, which to me is just not enough. So, okay. I'm gonna put that here with these. Those are like ones where they, they do work, but the, the legs were kind of clipped. Um, so yeah, this is this is what the board looks like in terms of how much of it was able to be complete. We had a whole sequence here putting it in and it's just i didn't test them beforehand so i don't know i'm not familiar with alps which is uh spicy g gong by the way thank you for the uh the follow um i'm gonna clean this guy i forgot to clean this guy so if it beeps it's bad no if it beeps it's good um the beeping is uh signaling to you that it should work um like that is sending a signal you know um but a bunch of these don't work so they didn't beep yeah uh, it's the same thing. You could do these with MX switches too. Like uh, you, you, you put these clips or probes onto MX legs, um, and then and then you press them down, and then like they should beep. And if they don't beep, then there probably is something wrong with the switch. Um, in MX, it's usually that like uh, the contact leaf, the gold contact leaf, was kind of bent out of place, or just something or other is wrong with it. Um, so that's like how you know to replace it, but. For these complicated blue alps they're complicated so uh who knows what's wrong with them i don't i know a thing or two about alps but not every single thing all right confirmed busted I'll put these back in here for now this little tray uh and we're gonna clean this guy up. <gasps> Shit. Fuck, every fucking time. There's a little metal holder within this pipe filter that sometimes it just completely pops out. because there's a bunch of solder stuck into it when I'm trying to scrape it up. So this is the Avril Lavigne build. What? <laughs> what aspect of Avril Lavigne makes this the Avril Lavigne build? Did I miss something here? May have missed something here. Because 
because everything just got so complicated. Okay. Demi Lovato in a rough spot build kind of shot out. That's a good one. That was pretty good. That's getting tighter. think this is otherwise clean. Could have just gone taupe ray, but no, Chris had to go all fancy vintage complex Alps. <laughs> uh, the taupe ray build on the, the Falcon is not my favorite, but I think it's worth a rebuild to put in some heavier domes. It's worth it to do it, but I felt like that was for another day. Okay, so I turned off the uh, the gun, or the station at least, for the gun. So as it cools down, at this point is when, while it's cooling down, we try to uh, cover the, the tip with a little bit of solder. When it's, you know, as it's beginning to cool down, it's like kind of the best time for that solder to just sort of stay in place properly. Okay, so I think we got we got it pretty good there. Okay, oops. Put a little more there. Okay. Alrighty. So that's about it for soldering equipment. Now we just gotta gotta organize through all this. Okay, so how many trays do I have? I have four trays, and I think these typically are more than that many pieces or a couple of desk keys films. I can just toss these, get ourselves one more tray. Hopefully they, those don't completely fly out. Just teasing. Really digging this trap lo-fi music, bro. Yeah, it's funny because I normally keep it on, but I can never really actually hear it until I got these AirPods. Um, I have these, like, I, I usually play my music on speakers, or that's what I've been doing for so long. But my mic picks up too much. Like, my mic sensitivity is uh, off the charts here. So I've always turned my music down so I can't hear it. But then I recently got this, this Bluetooth transmitter, and now I can actually hear the music and vibe with you guys. <laughs> it's a relatively new experience for me. <laughs> Nice, but I feel bad for subwoofer guy. Um, I apologize. <laughs> My sincerest apologies to subwoofer guy. All right, I don't know if anybody here wants to see me disassemble Alps, but I also think that I have one too few trays still. Uh, I really not have enough trays. Is there one more over there? There is. Like I have the trap is for key clipping bass notes and the rest of the components are like crisp and clean. <laughs> I'm just glad uh, I've got Bluetooth headphones in too. Yeah. All right, so now we have enough, and we'll resort these as we go through it. Okay, um, this this is a good view, I think. Although it is pretty uneven. Oh, there's so much space on this side, and then this side is like whatever. I don't care. Is the Bluetooth transmitter audio only? Um, it's a whole thing. You know how crazy my audio chain is, right? <laughs> 
Um, the Bluetooth transmitter doesn't include my voice. Um, so like what's being transmitted into my, my AirPod right now is everything but my vo my voice. And it's a it's a good thing. It's for good reason because there's a there's a pretty significant delay on it. Lower skates. Yeah, you know how crazy my my chain is here. You know the business. Hopefully the latency isn't too harsh. Yeah, I mean it's fine for me. Like it's like. The real problem would be because I'm not including my own voice on this on this track or on this out. Um, everything is relatively fine. The only issue that I would imagine is if I started to try to watch a YouTube video. Um, there would probably be a pretty bad lip syncing issue. What is this? This I know this. This song. Spicy G Gong. I'm going to bed. Alright. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, this 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 is no longer a Falcon build anymore. This is just chores. Rumi! Welcome. Glad to have you here. Yeah, we are just harvesting these. Uh Ricky Rude Dog, thank you for the follow. We're just harvesting, uh, or uh, we're just breaking down some of these pieces here. All of these guys are non-working, and they're fatally non-working. So yeah, there is literally six pieces that go into a uh, a blue Alp switch, or any tactile or clicky, um, complicated Alp switch. Hey, shouts out! Yeah, shouts out, Rumi. Rumi, I've been I've been liking your co-working streams. I've been I lurk a lot in all kinds of streams, but it's nice to have you on in the background. I just want to let you know that. Thanks for lurking. Yeah. Howdy, howdy, Ricky Rude Dog. I feel like the order of this is kind of nonsense. I don't know what the best order is of these trays. Well, Rumi deserves front ground, not background. It's true. It's just work's been busy, man. <laughs> work's been very busy. <laughs> I'll get in so much trouble for trying to put on a co-working stream. High ground. Oh, yeah. Failure work has been crazy, yeah. Yep. to get working pine switch plates I don't know but that is definitely gonna put this build on hold for a while till I can find those I feel like this should go here ish let's try that That probably also shouldn't go there.
this is closer to a good arrangement here. God damn. Come on, get out of there. Bruh. Work has been so crazy for me uh, that I've actually found a few hundred bucks in missed billings. Whoa. Or somebody just go make an ops board that replicates vintage cases, but like in 60% or TKL. Yeah. <laughs> I wish that too. Um, there's a couple of things that vaguely resemble options. Um, R&D KBD does these like 3D cases, I think 3D printed cases that kind of look like classic ish 60 um and then there's like the lunar uh the lunar 2 but then at the same time it's like for me it's it's not there's the lunar which was i think a 65 and then the lunar 2 which is a non hhkb like 60 but that's also probably not easy or not going to be easy to get i don't even know if it's out Hey, brother, thank you for the stream. I'm going to head to bed. Good luck with the ops. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Thanks for dropping by. Oh, yeah, yeah. I loud, brother. <laughs> That's exactly what I was uh, mentioning. Yeah. Um, I think you do need a PCB, but like a Heine, like an H60 would work. Uh, there's a few other PCBs out there that would. Um, Keep Me Up used to sell them. I have a bunch of them, but to be honest, uh, I, I mean, that one... If you're trying to go for an AEK look, um, there's specific PCBs you might need to get that 6.5U spacebar. It has the looks, but I need it like jankier to get that Alps sound. I think the key to, to all of that is like you need a big case, like a big case that's made of plastic. I, I realized this recently out of, you know, working with that, um, that G80 uh, that I still have to package up for uh, Chachi for giveaway uh as she won the giveaway but i think the key to get that like that old sound is you just need big plastic cases already sold oh the, the lunar 2 sold all right well find a lunar 2 <laughs> and gawk welcome back by the way Unfortunately, that mango isn't awake. Mango head? Does mango head have a lunar? Or is mango a big uh, Alps guy? A sad stream this has been. But uh, I appreciate everybody being here. I appreciate everyone being at, at Hammer Brothers stream, sticking around for the raid and, and making it here. Mangohead was designing an Alice like last night. Oh, Mangohead streams? Had fun showing them all the various angles and tents, including the Type K. Gotta have the meh times to have good times. I mean, I don't know. Uh, yeah, it is a little meh that we weren't able to complete this. But again, like we were, if we had known this would still have been a chore stream that we would have to do at some point. So it's like, I don't, I don't feel too bad. If he doesn't, it was just on Discord goofing off. I see, I see. Also, I'm like super hungry right now. I didn't really, did I have a real dinner? I don't remember. I think I literally had a Stroop waffle, one singular Stroop waffle. 
<laughs> and a glass of milk before a stream. Did you soften the Stroopwafel the classic way? I, I didn't because I don't drink coffee or really anything hot. Not even tea or cocoa? No. <laughs> I drink warm milk when I'm like sick or cold. That's pretty pretty much it. Guess it's not even necessary in sunny. San Francisco is not very sunny. <laughs> I was kidding. It was a little sunny today though. A little tiny bit for a small period of time. Really cloudy in the in the morning though. I was thinking about um, Happy Gilmore. I think in Happy Gilmore they they characterized San Francisco as sunny in a, just a brief one-liner and that area that they were in did not even look like it was a, at all part of San Francisco. Three more here. one okay so let me think of what to do here I'm gonna go grab a bunch of uh, plastic bags so we can continue our plastic waste adventures things here. Oh, some of these are like weirdly discolored. What's going on, Mr. Rufio? We are uh, winding down a failed Matrix Falcon Alps build. <laughs> you know, I could sort these out too. Oh, 
throw these weird switches into this tiny bag. Oh my goodness, Mr. McJizzle. Thank you for the five gifted. Big, big appreciation. Thank you, thank you. Big Boss Force One, Nebby, 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 Rumi, Fuzzinator, and Shiki Mazu. Enjoy the 10 best emotes on Twitch. And if you're part of my Discord and have your Twitch link to your Discord, uh, enjoy the uh, the pings for when I'm running uh, live giveaways. Nickel and dime bags. You know it. Thank you. Thank you again for the support, Mr. McJizzle. Got you, got you. Thank you. All right. The things we hate here, these broken switch plates. I'm gonna bag these up. I'm gonna label them as bad. That's a lot of them, man. That's so sad. That's so many. <laughs> so sad. Crazy. I like using this, this post-it tape. And what I'll do sometimes is uh, I will write on the sticky side. Bad pine switch plates. That way it's like, it sticks on, it sticks onto the face. Those are all dead switches. Yeah, these are all, like, it's just this little mechanism here, the, uh, the switch plates, yeah, these are all bad. Um, the rest of it is usable if you're able to like find other good switch plates, but where can you find good switch plates other than, especially pine ones, other than in working good pine switches? <laughs> like, I need to harvest a bunch of orange alps or something. Anyhow, time for me to also hit the hay. Good luck with. Hey, I appreciate it. I was about to say the S was sale. <laughs> Allowed. Can you harvest them from Matthias switches? Uh, <laughs> Matthias switches are, I think they're based around what's called a simplified version of a switch, which like understanding it is a little bit more simple, but it doesn't make the mechanism like necessarily super simple. Matthias switches like kind of, I, I guess you would be able to, but it would be really, really, really ugly. Um, and also, I mean, just like a worse option than harvesting them from bamboo alp switches so um let me see if i could show you guys what this all looks like Ch check this out we'll we'll go over this because we're all here we're all here and we can all talk about it um okay so this is this is my bag of blue alp shit that can't really be used for now until i get updated switch plates but let's take a look here so these are the bad ones. So there's a couple different like types of switches or, or ways that you can classify Alp switches. Um, the the one kind of classification system that I'm thinking of is you can distinguish like when you're talking about genuine. I realize this has been pointed downwards instead of towards my face. <clears throat> um, there's one way you like like if you have like old classic alp switches like actual alp switches you can classify two different types of i think 
I guess specifically SKCM ALP switches. Um, either what one is called Pine and one is called Bamboo. Pine is the quote unquote good one, and SKCM Blue Alps, which is what I was trying to build with today here. Uh, these are, I think, there's only Pine variants of Blue Alps. Um, the other one is called Bamboo. Um, why they're called this, I forget. I think there is probably some type of keyboard that I, I don't even know. Anyways, there's Pine or Bamboo. Bamboo is like the less good one, but it's still generally decent. Um, what sucks is that if you have these older switches um, and they're really heavily used or just, you know, been through a lot, um, w the mechanism to, to actually activate the switch here, um, like the contact leave portion of this, is called a switch plate. And these switch plates can kind of go bad. These are like, think of um, the equivalent here kind of being like, the tactile leaves uh, or like the contact leaves of an MX switch. So this is a pine switch plate that has gone bad from these blue Alp switches. Now, meanwhile, what I have here are switch plates from black Alps and this particular variant of black Alps, I think both had a pine and a bamboo variant. Like I think like just depending on how old you, you look into, there's, you can find a pine version, you can find a bamboo version. Um, one thing I was considering doing was just using these bamboo switch plates, but you can tell that there's an actual difference. So take a look at this. Okay, the pine one's just like the white section's a little bit taller. And the idea here is that when it sits down into uh, an actual Alp switch bottom, the bottom of uh, this white section here sits directly on the plastic of the bottom housing that's just completely flat. Meanwhile, on the bamboo version, there are these like steps. Like there's there's the flat bottom, but then there's also these steps. And you can see like the similar analog there would be like if you've ever looked inside um, yoke panda switches or like utemu switches, you'll notice that there's like a step um in those switch bottoms and it's the same type of thing that you'll see here um so if you try putting this guy where there's no step in a pine bottom housing like it's just a little weird like at first of all it's just not generally kosher but it's just a little bit weird because i think there's going to be some give where it's just like moving around and could compress in a weird way so so that's the situation between like these sort of old classic Alps um, switches and, and one way that you can characterize them. Um, now, when you ask the question, can you just harvest them from Matthias switches? The answer to that is like, for the most part, like you can in the same way that you can take a bamboo switch plate and put it into a pine bottom housing. Um, but Matthias switches are just like even worse. So um, here's a Matthias switch here. So Matthias switches, as, as far as I understand, these guys are, and what's cool is that they're transparent, so I don't even have to open it up. Um, these guys are based around what are called simplified Alps. That is my understanding. I actually haven't used very many simplified Alps ever, really. Um, but it's just like a different, like it's the same shape. It can like solder in and be placed into Alps, um, like cutouts and PCBs just the same as regular Alps. But this right here is a clone of a simplified Alp switch, which is a totally different beast. And you can see here, it doesn't even use a mechanism called a switch plate. It just has two different, like, like separate leaf legs, even more so similar to how MX works. Um, if you ever looked into the MX contact leaves or, yeah. So, um, and these are just generally more, way, way more fragile. Um, than complicated alps they're way they're even way more fragile here than like than mx so like i could but it just it just feels like it's not even remotely close to a wise thing to do but i guess i could if we're already passing on the bamboo swap then then i'm going to be passing on this so really again like i said like i mentioned a little bit earlier my best bet is to kind of harvest switch plates from good pine switches, but good pine switches are already good. So it's kind of like a sad thing to do. 
It just sucks. Yeah, probably rather not do it if she's doing some premium like blue ops. Yeah. And I've had this happen before. Um, like I, uh, there was a, a vendor called Keep Me Up, and I think they were bought out by somebody. I forget who. Um, but the Keep Me Up store is still up. Uh, the vendor is, was, I don't know. Is or was a vendor. Um, and I remember I once bought a whole batch of Orange Alps. Um, and the Orange Alps, as it turned out, had a bunch of bad switch plates. And I was able to just like talk to the guy. He said, hey, I'll replace them for you. So I sent them back in. I got a replacement, but these blue alps didn't come from from any vendor. I don't I don't remember where uh, these all came from. I'm gonna guess a board I must have harvested maybe about six seven years ago. Some of them, and then some of them might have come from uh, me just buying aftermarket from somebody else. Um, so kind of sucks the situation that we got here, but it's what it is. It's just it's how the the cookie crumbles sometimes, right? Okay, so that's that about does it here for me. I think uh, I don't even know where I put all this stuff. Whatever, I'll I'll sort this all off stream. Um, all right, I guess I guess I do still owe you guys something like a giveaway, right? So let me go and open up uh, marbles. Also, I shouldn't be using this these. Uh, these work work mat desk mats get kind of gross. So while I'm trying to open up marbles and make sure there's no update, I'm gonna toss this to the side here, tidy up and do all this. Yeah, also just pretty pricey. A shame you're rolling the dice on it sometimes. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> okay, where are we? All right, uh, right, let's just do, I'll do a pair of stickers tonight. You guys cool with that? So we'll do a Kawaii Drake sticker and then any one of these random ones. So we'll do that. Kawaii Drake plus one. Um... All right, so uh, feel free, feel free to take a vote um, as I continue tidying up. Uh, vote for your favorite map or your favorite number from one to still sixty-seven, and uh, it looks like you know we still have the Halloween ones here. If anyone complains about stickers, they're more scuffed than those burnt owls. <laughs> so yeah, sixty-five, sixty-six, sixty-seven. Halloween ones are still here. I guess fall themed ones since they're all just pumpkins. Haunted Hammer. Spooky Thanksgiving is what Haunted Hammer is. Damn it. That thing is all the way over there, isn't it? Oh, shit. All right, we got a vote for 62. Let's do 62. All right, I normally don't ping the stream channel for stickers. Usually it's when I'm running something a little bigger than stickers. Something bigger than stickers or junk. All right, three laps. Let's do, let's do two and a half minutes. All right, guys. Um, exclamation play to uh, to join. I'll join too. Last place finisher uh, gets to choose the raid target. First place finisher gets the uh, the two stickers. Gadget Blues. Whoa, it's been a long while. Gadget Blues. I owe you some stickers in the distant past. It's been a minute. But I owe you some stickers, so um, let me know. I, I pinged you on Discord. 
Erno Brown, welcome. Two stickers for the winner. Last place finisher, raid target. Unless I win, then we flip it. If I win, um, I'll choose the raid target and last place finisher gets the stickers. Hey Chris, it's been a bit lax on key viewing since I'm pissed off at all my group buys being delayed with no updates. Oh, no worries, man. I, I'm sorry that that's the experience that you're having. I think it's a struggle that a lot of us have. <laughs> but uh, good to see you again, man. Definitely. Hmm. God, everything is such a mess. One at a time, one at a time. Freebird TKL, ah. All right, about a minute left to join, guys. Actually, I guess I'll keep this out because I still need to reassemble my Falcon. All right, guys. Uh, appreciate everybody being here. Uh, good luck and welcome to the uh, the race. Where the hell is my cursor? There it is. Last update September. Jeez. All right, McJizzle got that early lead. Everyone's. It looks like. I wonder how circular this stage is. Oh, I'm winning. All right. In the meantime, let me pull up the uh, streamers you might be on right now. Looks like Tim. Mr. Tim is on. May possibly be it that I can see right now, unless you guys have any suggestions or... Whatever the case, last place finisher or whoever is choosing the raid target um, can choose your favorite friend or hot tub streamer, whatever. Glad I didn't join Freebird. <laughs> hey, yo, spring roll. Gonna win his own giveaway. I just see Tim, I see. By the way, guys, I just wanted to mention uh, Friday. Uh, AKB Vero, I am recruiting. I am recruiting uh, raffle entries from uh, anyone who isn't themselves joining the AKB Vero. Let me know if you are interested in helping helping a streamer out. <laughs> Bro, I need that Drake sticker. <laughs> um... What is it? Live Oak also going live on uh, on Friday, that raffle as well, but I think I'm going to be passing on that one. Just because I want to wait for like a silver. So the raffle is again when, uh, when again, AKB Vero, it's uh, Friday at 1 p.m. Pacific. But the window is 24 hours, so you'll have, like, all day. Oh, my God. Erno Brown win. I didn't even know we were done here. Erno Brown with the win. Erno Brown, do you claim? I didn't even know we were that close to the end. <laughs> Hammer Brother did finish in last place. Claim. All righty. Let me, let me tabulate you here, Mr. Erno Brown. 11, 2, Drake, sticker, plus 1, sticker. 
Erno Brown. All right, Erno Brown or anybody out there who might not already be uh, on the Discord. Feel free to join the Discord. Erno Brown, find me on there. Uh, send me a DM and we'll arrange how I'll get this over to you. Uh, Hammer Brother, do you have... Oh, okay, Tim Keyless. Tim Keyless is the suggestion. All righty, let's go and raid Mr. Tim Keyless. <clears throat> okay. Uh, meanwhile, guys, uh, anybody out there who's subbed, send him some love there with that raid message. If you are not subbed, send over that message. But if you are not subbed, might I suggest you to consider doing so in order to get the 10 best emotes on Twitch, uh, as well as the opportunity to get uh, access to a uh, Discord channel where you'll get pinged for when we have actual good giveaways that aren't just stickers or junk. Word on the street is that if you have Amazon Prime, you can hit that Twitch Prime link and then uh, pay zero for it. Uh, <laughs> hey, yo, Spring Roll. Thank you for the two months uh, of support here. All right, guys. Send Tim some love. Um, I don't know when I'll be back. It could be to... Uh, it's probably not going to be tomorrow. Likely going to be next week, uh, but we will see. Uh, but yeah, send Tim some love. And uh, oh, he has the same exact desk mat as me. <laughs> All right. Peace, guys.